Hello and welcome to the Microchip Technology Web Seminar Overview of the recently introduced MCP14628 Synchronous Buck H-Bridge MOSFET Driver. My name is Ray DiSilvestro and I am a product marketing engineer within Microchips Technology Analog Division. Shown here in slide one is the analog and interface product portfolio. The MCP14628 is contained in the power management section within the MOSFET driver category. The MCP14628 is Microchip's first high side synchronous buck driver. In slide two, synchronous buck drivers are used in DC to DC switching supplies to step down the input voltage to the output. The MCP14628 is a dual MOSFET gate driver designed to ultimately drive two in-channel MOSFETs arranged in a non-isolated synchronous buck converter topology. Slide 3 shows the two external MOSFETs in a synchronous buck half-bridge topology. With the capability to source two amp peak typically from both the high side and the low side drives, the MCP14628 is an ideal companion to buck controllers that lack integrated gate drivers. Additionally, greater design flexibility is offered by allowing the great gate drivers to be placed close to the power MOSFETs. The upper pin provides the gate drive signal to control the high side power MOSFET. The gate of the high side power MOSFET is connected to this pin. The LG pin, lower gate, provides the gate drive signal to control the low side power MOSFET. The gate of the low side power MOSFET is connected to this pin. The PWM control input signal is supplied to the PWM pin. This tri-state pin controls the state of the upper gate and lower gate pins. Placing a voltage equal to VCC over 2 on this pin causes both the upper gate and lower gate to a low state. The boot pin is the floating bootstrap supply pin for the high side gate drive. A capacitor is connected between this pin and the phase pin to provide the necessary charge to turn on the high side power MOSFET. The phase pin provides the return path for the high side gate driver. The source of the high side power MOSFET is connected to this pin. Slide 4 shows a typical application schematic. Here the MCP1630 PWM controller is used to supply the PWM's input to the MCP14628 synchronous buck driver. Slide 5 describes where it is used. Synchronous buck drivers are used in DC to DC switching supplies where high output currents greater than 10 amps are required. Synchronous buck drivers are also used where high input voltage, typically 12 to 36 volts, needs to be stepped down to a lower output voltage, also capable of having a high output current. Typical applications are DC to DC power converters that are used in laptops and servers. Slide 6 provides features overview of the MCP14628. The synchronous buck topology is a half-bridge configuration, drives both the high side in-channel and the low side in-channel MOSFET. Internal adaptive cross-conduction protection circuitry is also used to mitigate between external power MOSFETs from simultaneously conducting. Bootstrapping for the high side drive is internally implemented which allows for a reduced system cost and design complexity. Light load system efficiency is improved by using the diode emulation features of the MCP14628. In slide 7, light load system efficiency is improved by using the diode emulation feature of the MCP14628. When the FCCM pin is grounded, Diode emulating mode is entered. In this mode, discontinuous conduction is allowed by sensing when the inductor current reached zero, 
and turning off the low side power MOSFET. The FCCM pin enables or disables the forced continuous conduction mode. With the FCCM pin connected to ground, the MCP14628 enters the diode emulation mode to improve system efficiency at light loads. Continuous conduction is forced if the FCCM pin is connected to VCC. Slide 8 outlines how the low resistance pull up and pull down drive allow the MCP14628 to quickly transition a 3300 picofarad load in typically 8 nanoseconds and with a propagation time of typically 20 nanoseconds. The MCP14628 features the capability to sync 3.5 amps peak typically for the low side gate drive. This allows the MCP14628 the capability of holding off the low side power MOSFET during the rising edge of the phase node. The PWM input to the MCP14628 can be tri-stated to force both drive outputs low for true power stage shutdown. Light load system efficiency is improved by using the diode emulation feature of the MCP14628. The boot pin is the floating bootstrap supply pin for the high side gate drive. A capacitor is connected between this pin and the phase pin to provide the necessary charge to turn on the high side power MOSFET. Bootstrapping for the high side drive is internally implemented which allows for a reduced system cost and design complexity. Slide 10 shows the MCP14628 is available in a 3x3 Leadless DFN package, which has a very low profile and occupies smaller board space. Slide 11 shows typical applications. Applications include power supplies for servers and laptops, DC to DC converter application where high current and high voltage is needed, and motor driver applications. Slide 12 shows MCP part numbering. As shown, a T after the part number implies tape and reel. After the dash, an E defines the temperature range from minus 40 degrees C to plus 85 degrees C. The last two letters are used to define the package type. Both SOIC 8 lead and 3x3 DFN 8 lead are available. The MCP14628 is available in both SOIC 8-lead and 8-lead 3x3 DFN package. Pricing in 10K quantity is $1.17 and $1.33 respectively. Samples are currently available at sample.microchip.com or at microchipdirect.com. The data sheet can be downloaded from the webpage. Thank you.